What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 5 of the Custom Clee Chronicles where today we're going to be featuring Geronimo Allison of the Green Bay Packers. Slides down the field. He's open, wide open. Allison cuts back. They got him another move. He's got Jones in front of him. He gets past him and he's down to the 6. We first began working with Geronimo last year as we also whipped up three pairs of the Vapor Untouchable Pros for him. So today we're going to be getting him set for a good portion of the season as we're going to be showing you guys four pairs of cleats that we're making for him. Today's base models are also going to be the Vapor Untouchable Pros as he's going to be wearing these again this season. So as far as the design goes, his requests were pretty simple as he asked for an all yellow, an all green, a green and yellow pair, and lastly a throwback pair to match the throwback uniforms that the Packers are going to wear again this year. So for today's episode, I'm just going to walk you guys through a little bit of the design elements and challenges that come when creating each of these pairs. So kicking things off, starting with the all green pair, I really wanted to play up the Packers logos. So I wanted to take their classic G logo and turn that into a repeating tiling effect and almost give this like an LV print style feel where we also included a football shape and the Wisconsin state silhouette. I also included the Packers font logo as large as possible on the inside of the cleats. After we had all of this knocked out, this is the time where you kind of need to take a step back and look at your cleat as a whole and see what else you think may need to be done. So I knew that we still had a dark green sole under underneath these taped up, so I knew that these also still needed an additional step of color somewhere, somehow. So when I need to inject just a little bit more life into a design or a little bit more color, one popular thing that I really like to do is add almost like a paint peeling effect to the toes. So I like to add just a little bit of a gray fade onto each of the toes, and then I take a stencil and just use a couple different values of gray and add almost like a peeling effect of the gray onto the rest of the design. So now moving on to our all yellow pair. So yellow is by far the hardest color to paint. So anytime you're working with this color, you really need to take the time to make sure that your base coats are done properly so that you can really get that color to actually be vibrant and really saturated. So in situations like this, even if you're working with an all white cleat to start, you can't just go straight into your yellow right on top of that, in my opinion. That would require way too many coats if you were trying to make sure that your cleats were still durable. You would also notice that your coats would never be even right away because you're working on a non-painted surface, so you never know how that yellow is going to lay down on top of a synthetic surface like this. So what I like to do after I have my cleats base painted completely white is use a couple of in-between layers before getting to the final stages of yellow. So what I mean by this is taking a mixture of roughly 75% white along with 25% yellow, mixing that up and and then using that as my first coat on top of my base coat. So after that, I'll do a mixture of 50% white, 50% yellow on top of that layer. Then from there, we'll go into 25% white, 75% yellow as a final layer before we're ready to get into our pure yellow. So this is something that really came from a lot of trial and error over the years of working with a lot of different Packers players and really trying to figure out how to get these cleats to really be that vibrant yellow. So design wise, I wanted to utilize a desert camel theme. And I know you guys might be thinking, how did you come up with that for the Packers? They're in Wisconsin, it's cold, Lambeau Field, it's snowing half the year during football season. But this is just one that we're just gonna chalk up to art and I thought it'd be really cool to do a desert camo theme on an all yellow pair of cleats. So for laying down a desert camo design like this, shameless plug, go check out our last digi camo video that we posted. It was a two minute Tuesday where we covered how you can do a digi camo pattern or really any camo pattern for that matter with an airbrush. And that's also the same design principles we're gonna be following for laying down this desert camo pattern on these. So moving on to our third pair, the green and yellow design, there was a few things that I knew I wanted to incorporate. So the Packers have a very iconic stripe pattern which is seen on their green home jerseys where they have that yellow, white, yellow stripe pattern that everybody will recognize. So I knew I wanted to include that across both of the toes. And then I also wanted to add just a little bit more flair to these by cooking up a little bit of a pearlescent metallic type green. So a quick little pro tip for everybody, if you're ever trying to make any of your colors just a little bit more pearlescent pearlescent, metallic, just give them a little bit more of a sheen. You can take regular Angelus silver and mix that directly into any color and it will instantly give the color a metallic type look. So if you're wondering how much silver to add into your mixture, 
you can take whatever you already have, let's say it's one ounce of green paint and add another one ounce of silver into that. And you might be thinking that this will dramatically alter your color or even lighten it because silver is lighter than green in this situation. But all the silver really does is add a metallic sheen to these. It doesn't lighten the color that much. So this is just a cool tip that I use all the time to just add a metallic type feel to any of my colors. And so for our last pair, we had to cook something up to match the Packers throwback uniforms. So I knew right away I wanted a mainly all navy blue base to match the uniforms. And then rather than bringing in the yellow only through the swoosh, I thought it would be a really cool idea to also incorporate it onto the toes of each of the shoes. And of course, since we're working with the Packers on one of these shoes, I definitely had to find a way to include some of the cheese print also. So I knew that utilizing the toes of each along with the swoosh would be just enough and kind of that perfect ratio of doing the cheese print where it doesn't take away from the design, it's not too distracting, but it's just enough to still be really cool also. And then as far as how we actually lay down the cheese print, all you need to do is take a bunch of various sizes of circles, lay that down on top of your yellow base, and then from there you're just going to lightly shade around each of the circles with a slightly darker value of your base color yellow. Alright, so before you guys hurt our feelings and click off our video, we have some pretty exciting news to share with you guys. Next week, completely unrelated to the Custom Cleat Chronicles series, we have two really cool cleat videos coming at you guys. We're going to be doing some really in-depth tutorials on some really popular designs that we know you guys are going to absolutely love. So make sure you guys have notifications turned on so you don't miss a thing. And it is getting close guys, it's almost time, we are now just weeks away from the kickoff in the NFL season. So that means we have tons more episodes of these Custom Cleat Chronicles coming at you guys. So make sure you guys let us know what other topics you would like covered within these videos. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around with us, hanging out with us for another video. We're really having fun making this series for you guys. We know that you guys are enjoying it, so keep sending us your feedback on it. We really appreciate that from you guys. Make sure you give this video a like, make sure you're subscribed, and we will see you guys in that next video.